Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna go over something that uh, Chase was calling, I love the name that you came up with for this. I, just, I don't really name it. Uh, I just call it like collar control or something, but you're calling it sling control, because like your arm's in a sling, mm -hmm. right? I like that idea a lot. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do that from there. In fact, if you watch some of our previous videos, there's like the bro handshake from there, the, uh, what was it, the baseball bat chokes from there, all sorts of good stuff from there. We're gonna do like a, a modified Bravo choke from here right, real quick. So lay down for me. So there's a couple things that go on with this that we uh, that make it really cool. First things first, of course, just getting this peeled out over the top, pull out the slack, my elbow goes over. That's what drives the skirt over his wrist. And then I grab it with my hand. Now I'm gonna take my hand, pull his other lapel down to the floor and put my knee on it. Go to this like knee on belly type position, except for I'm just knee on his skirt right there. Now from here, um, you could go for the standard, just grab it, go for the baseball bat choke. But I'm gonna go off the idea that he turns to me, like trying to recover guard or something. So he's turning to me, I'm gonna pass my arm underneath and feed the collar to my other hand. Now from here, I'm gonna grab the material, fold in, and then get the choke. Now it is possible that he rolls to me like that and he has his chin down. So if his chin is down, I'm simply gonna move his chin and place my knee on his head, and then I'm gonna get the grip and be able to finish. So it's kind of brutal, but whatever. So let's turn it this way. So again, I get in this position here, pull out his skirt, go over the top. I'm gonna grab it with my hand, and then I'm gonna pull his other skirt down and put my knee on it. This prevents him from rolling away. Now, as he rolls back to me, I'm gonna go underneath. My shoulder has to go all the way down. My ear is almost gonna go on his shoulder. I'm gonna make the grip, and then I'm gonna go over the top, grabbing the same material, put my elbows together, and then finish. If his chin is down, I'm simply gonna move his head, pin it with my knee, and then grip and go under the chin, and then I can get the choke there. Let's go this way. So, I really like this pinning the knee down with my knee. It helps a whole lot. So, here. So if he stayed there, I'll go to a traditional baseball back choke, but if he turns to me, I'm gonna go underneath, glue my head down, pass the material, grab, and finish. Pin his head maybe, and finish. So there's one other thing that you can do from here, and I don't really do this this often, unless I've got somebody that's in this kind of being like a mat bully. Should I show it on a different video? Should I show it on this one? I'm already here. Okay, okay. So, we call this one the D-bag. <laughs> so you get two in one today. Okay, so let's look at it. I still set it up the same way. Go over the top, pin this thing down. He can't go anywhere. But now, I'm just gonna move my knee to his throat, hold the pant, D-bag. <laughs> it works, man. And even if his chin is tucked and down, turn towards me too. Everything, he can't, he can't defend my knee, just going right on his face. I pin his head and make his head look the other direction. My knee is on his carotid right there, and I just simply pull. Nice, ah, oh, it's the good stuff right there. So, yeah, two and one right there for you. So, this is from Sling Control. That's his idea, that was good. I like that, that was mm -hmm. great. So, Sling Control, and don't forget about pinning the lapel down with your knee. It really, really helps. And then, of course, you can go to the traditional baseball bat choke there. Um, there's some other paper cutter type stuff you can do from there, but I really like this setup a lot. So, anyway, play around with it, see what you get. Let me know in the comments if you catch that thing. Peace!